who's killing all the striped bass? While it's tempting to point the finger at commercial fishermen, a recent report by the ASMFC says that 50% of striped bass deaths are from recreational release. In other words, half of striper deaths are just from bad catch and release practices. But how true is this data and how is it being collected? I really question the data that they're collecting, as well as the catch and release mortality rates and everything like that. Like they caught fish and they put it in the pond and then they caught this fish again. What Finn is alluding to is a 1996 study conducted in Salem, Massachusetts, in which about a thousand fish were caught in traps, tagged, and released into a saltwater pond. 50 volunteers from local fishing clubs were then sent to this saltwater pond to catch and release striped bass. After about 50 days, they observed roughly 9% of the fish died post-release. 25 years later, the ASMFC still uses this study as a benchmark for their estimates. That's why it's not totally clear 